Just keep your eyes on me, says the Lord. Just keep your eyes on God. This is the message that he has given me. And this is a message that I believe that he has given you as well. When we are going through seasons of having to wait for the promise to come to pass, when God has given us um, confirmation after confirmation after confirmation after answer prayer after answer prayer, but we still don't fully have it, it can become, you can take it two ways. You're happy that God is answering your prayers, but on the other note, you're like, dang, is it really going to happen? Whenever God is confirming a thing in you, you have to also recognize the voice in your head that's causing you to have doubt. The enemy will hold on to any little sprinkle of doubt that you have and, and magnify that thing. Because all he wants to do is cause you to not believe what, the, what God has said. Just like it says in the Bible that a little yeast leavens the whole loaf. You don't need much yeast. It spreads. That's what doubt does. So I asked, I was reading my Bible and I came across a scripture. And the scripture said, keep your eyes on me. And I started looking up scriptures that was talking about keeping your eyes on God, right? And um, it was really encouraging because it speaks to where I am right now in this season of life. It speaks to where I am. And it's like, wow, okay. All right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. When we have the mindset of I need to make sure I prioritize God above all else, then we are in right posture with God. But when we are desiring what he, the promise that he is, that he promised us, that all we can think about is that. Now I can say there has been up days that have been up and down, right? Up and down. I have days where I'm, I feel like I'm patient. I'm, I'm doing good. And then I ask God in prayer to allow this thing to happen. If, if you said, if you said it, Lord, then let this happen. Like, let me, let me see the progress because let, let me see what's, let, let some things that's already said in the spirit be made manifest here on earth. Like, let this be, let, like, if this is what you have said, then let this be done. Right? And so God has been answering my prayers. And when I see the prayer answer, I'm like, okay, God, he really said it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, if this is so, you know, that and it's and it's actually happening. But in the back of my mind, doubt is like, hey, is it really? If it was gonna happen, it should have happened by now. So when you start hearing these the words of doubt, when you start feeling discouraged or you don't you, you you're starting to question whether or not you heard God, I want to encourage you to stop before you even get started. God has already shown you. He has already given you confirmation. He has already spoken. He has already promised you. He does not need you to figure it out. He does not need you to know when it's going to happen. It's going to happen when God says it's going to happen because his timing is perfect. We don't know the full circumstances. We don't know what's going we don't know what's going on behind why we are having to wait, behind why it is taking so long. We don't know. But what I do know is that we have the job to keep our eyes on God. When we take our eyes off of God, that is when we start focusing on the wrong things. And then we don't feel peace. And then we feel discontent. And then we start to worry. And then we start to doubt. And we may even start to speak against the promise. Because now we don't believe. That's a dangerous place. And so God is saying, Keep your eyes on me. I will make it happen when it is time. The Bible says, I know the Lord is with me. 
I will not be shaken. He is right beside me. So when, just because you don't see it in the flesh, in the natural, doesn't mean that nothing is happening. God is always working. He is always working. All we have to do is trust him and believe. Believe. When we go through seasons of where God is developing our patience, it's helping us build up endurance. It's also helping us mature as Christians, as believers in Jesus Christ. Our maturity and our spiritual maturity with Christ is growing because we are exercising this muscle of patience. There's so many benefits of all of this. So many. We realize our need for Christ when we go through these seasons because we can't do it by ourselves. We have to go to God and say, God, I can't do this. This is hard, I need your help. I need your help to focus on you. I need you to, to help me see. I need you to give me something. Just anything. Just 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 a just a little so that I know that you you're still saying that this is what it is. I just I just need help. I can't do this without you. I need you. That is when God works. When we submit ourselves humbly before the Father and we admit that we can't do this by ourselves, then God has the opportunity to move. We were not designed to know it all. We were not designed to be able to do it by ourselves. We don't got this. Okay? You don't got this by yourself. Because if you always had it, you would never need God. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. When, when, you, are, when you keep your mind and your thoughts focused on God, then you will be kept in perfect peace. You won't be, you won't be shaken. When things happen, you won't be shaken. Just because, just because God told you this and then this happened, it's like, it's telling you the opposite. It's like, oh, I ain't worried about it. You know why? Because God said it. So I'm gonna believe it. They don't shake me. I see what's happening, but this is what God told me. This is what my daddy said. You know what I'm saying? We got to get to that point where we really just trust God like that. And so when you keep your eyes on God, he will keep you in perfect peace. You won't have to worry about the flip, the flippity flopping, the, the wish, the back and forth on all of that. You don't even have to worry about that because God has got you. God has got you. God is saying to you. Keep your eyes on me. Focus. I don't need you to figure it out. I already have. I just need you to trust me. I need you to know that I have already mapped out the plan and the blueprint for how I want to deliver this promise to you. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be intimidated. You don't have to worry. Nobody is going to take what I already said was yours. I got you. I just need you to trust me. Admit that you need me and I will be right there. I'm already by your side. I have taken you by the hand. I am leading and I am guiding you. You are not alone. Don't be afraid. And when I give it to you, when I give it to you, I will get the glory, says the Lord. 
because only God can do it. We are created to give him glory. Only God can do it. I'm looking forward to sharing my testimony when it comes to pass. Oh my God. Woo. It's, it's going to be, I'm going to be so excited because I'm going to be able to share and be a witness to what the Lord has done for me in my life. And you are too. So remember that. That's all I got. Be blessed. Peace.